Hi everyone. Now we're going to review how to find domain for functions. When you try to find domain for functions, so keep these three cases in mind. Okay. So number one, if the function here is involved a quotient, um, it's required that the denominator does not equal to zero. So the denominator does not equal to zero. Number two, if the function here involve an even root of some function inside, okay. So then it's required that this radicand inside this even root has to be greater than or equal to zero. Number three, if the function involve ln or log function of some quantity here. It is required that this quantity here has to be strictly greater than zero. But this has to be strictly greater than zero because think about this. Um, e to the y is equal to x, even only if y is equal to ln of x. So x over here is a result of e to the y. When the base here is, remember e is, okay, so what is e? e is Remember, E is a irrational number, which is 2.71, and then the digit here continue forever, and there's no pattern of repeating, okay? So it is a positive number, okay? Now, when the base is positive, no matter what exponent here it is, E to this exponent, E to this power, will always be positive. So X here should be positive. So when you have this log function, then this x here has to be positive. Okay. Now I'm going to do some example to find where the following functions are discontinued. The first one over here, this is a rational function. It is a polynomial divided by polynomial. That's what we call a rational function. Now the first thing to do here is let's try to factor the numerator and see if we can divide out some common factor. Okay, but before we do it, Let's think about what's the domain for this function here first. So the domain for this function will be all in number, except those numbers that make this denominator over here equal to zero. This denominator equal to zero when x equal to two. So the domain over here will be all in number x, such that x does not equal to two. Okay. All right, so after this, let's try to factor the numerator. So it's going to factor into this using try error. Okay. Now x minus two is going to cancel out. So giving you x plus one. So the graph of this function will be almost the same as x plus one, which is going to be a straight line like this, with one being the y intercept and slope being one. Okay. However, because this function here is not defined when x equal to two because when x equal to two, the denominator equal to zero. So we had to take away this single point here when x equal to two. So we have two here, we go up, hit the graph, and we make this a gap, okay? So function is not defined when x equal to two. So as you can see here, uh, the function is not continuous at two because we have a gap here. So function f is discontinued at two. Now, some people will say, well, if I don't graph this, can I tell this function is not continue at two? Uh, yes, you can tell that the function is not continue at two because uh, in order to be continued at that two, then f of two has to be defined. But two is not in the domain for the function, so f of two is not defined. So the function is not continue at two, okay? Number two, in this example, this is a piecewise defined function, f of x equal one over x squared. Um, if you look at the handout I gave you on those function, so the graph is going to be like this. And when x equal to zero, the function is defined to be one. So one over here, we put in a single dot, okay. Now you see that the function is defined at zero and however, the limit 
of this function when x approaching to zero from left side and right side does not exist as a real number. So the function is discontinued at zero. So the limit as x approaching zero does not exist. So therefore the function is discontinued at zero. Okay. Remember the second requirement for function to be continued that a uh, the limit at a has to exist. So over here, the limit at zero does not exist. So the function discontinue at zero. Okay. Number three, in this example, we have a piece by defined function. Uh, this first part here is for x does not equal to two. So we already did that in, in example one. Uh, we know the graph of that is going to be a straight line. However, with a gap over here, okay. And then when x equal to 2, the function is defined to be 1. So when x equal to 2, the y coordinate will be 1. So we make this a solid back here. Okay. Now the function is defined at 2, and the limit as x approaching to 2 also exists. In fact, the limit over here is equal to 3. Okay, equal to this 3 here. However, that's not equal to f of 2 because f of 2 here is equal to 1. So functions defined at 2, the limit exists at 2. However, they don't equal. So the function is discontinued at 2. Okay. 